cup. Ooh, look. Look at how much. Oh, there's no prices. That's Fantin. I get that. Okay, so today we are at our local Goodwill. Um, sorry we had no video Sunday. I was sick the last couple days, feeling much better. So let's go in and see what we could find. All right, it looks like the color is green today. I know it's kind of busy. I know. <laughs> I like how cool these chairs are. Ooh, look at it. I love it, they're 20 bucks each. Michael, you're not allowed to sit in that. <laughs> Let me take a look at this horse. It's a uh, plastic. Let me see if there's any markings. Oh, there is one. Uh, made in China, Belgium draft. Hmm, that might be a look up. Okay, so you could probably get like $40 for this in good condition, and this is all scratched up, and yeah, I'm going to leave that for $10. It's very large, too. Got a cute bunny. I love it. <laughs> well, there's no fresh carts yet. We're going to wait around and see if they put anything else out. I got all the willow trees. Oh, look at it. $5.99 each though. Where's this Indian? How much is that? $10. I kind of like the Indian. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it has um, doves. Are those lovebirds? That's what it looks like. For $8.99. Mm. I never saw that pattern before though with birds on it. I kind of like it. What about this bird teapot? Oh, that's cute. It has a nest on top as a lid. It's Teleflora for $8.99. It's all right. A hand blown vase. I don't think that glows, does it? <laughs> Probably not. Who is that? A Rinconata? It totally is for $3.99. Let's see if we can see the signature. Yep, right there. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Let's see if we can find any more. Oh, uh, is that a unicorn and the horn is broken off? All right, I gotta leave it. The horn is broken off right on the top. It's hard to leave. All right. Here's the Hummel clock. Oh, that's kind of neat. This is Germany. It's plastic. Hmm. For $8.99 though. I wonder if it's missing some weights on the bottom. Let's see what Michael's looking at. Check and see if there's chips. It's a creamer. That's made in Spain. For $1.99 and how much is that? $2.99? Hmm. I think we'll get these. There. First item of the day. Let me see about this. Oh, it's strawberry. I was gonna say ladybug. <laughs> um, crazy mountain made in China. Hmm. I wonder if it's supposed to come with a glass piece in the middle. Yeah, I think so. Might as well look at the crystal. Oh, look at this bird dish. Chinese garden. Let's check and see if this is silver. Kind of looks like it would be. Uh, made in China. <laughs> Here's a trivet. It's probably made in China also. Okay. I haven't really seen too much today. All oh, those two um, made in England trays are gone. One of our viewers wanted to buy them. I'll look around more and see if they're misplaced. Let's see that. It's kind of cool. Definitely newer. <laughs> what about these dishes? 
Um, let me take a look. Blossom time for $2.99 each. This looks like it could be Lennox um, Butterfly Meadow for $3.99. What about this lady? Is that the Manning? Doug Harris for $4.99. Teapot is nice. This looks like it could be a Scavo. It's not. <laughs> I can always tell um, Scavo with that texture. It's made to look like it's old. Um, it would be signed. There's a bug vase again. That looks like a pottery mug. What is that supposed to be? Chicken? I don't know, it's $2 and signed. Um, I kind of like the colors on that. I think I'm gonna get it for two bucks. I wonder if that's um paint or, or he scratches off. I'm gonna get that for two bucks. And what about these dishes down here? It's plastic. Let me see. It's probably from the 80s or 90s. Alright, Changs. These are rice bowls for Easter. <laughs> what about this vase? It's plastic. Okay. Alright, I see a fresh cart. a wooden box. That's some lucite on the... I'm gonna get that with a horse on it. It's lucite. And wood. I'm gonna get that. Let me take a look at this box. That looks like it's hand-painted. I'm um, a lacquered box. And it's not too exciting. <laughs> What about these? I wonder if that glows, Michael. I don't know, it feels kind of cheap. Mm. The metal feels cheap. No. Look at this enamel from Walmart. Let's take a look at this one. Anything in here? No. A mixing bowl set. Let me take a look at the bottom without SCM designs. $14.99. Those are kind of cool. Eh. I figured we'd take a look at some art. Now, this is a oil on canvas. B trap. How much is that? $140. It's pretty though, I would have picked that up. Oh, what about this? Yeah, look that up. Somebody has oh, it listed for uh, $50. $50, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like the, the wooden frame. Definitely has an Asian look. <laughs> Some string art. Oh, I like that. I mean, it looks old. Yeah, it does look old. I kind of like this, but $16.99. Can't do that. There's another oil on canvas. I like that. What about this lady? Is that real? It is. Ooh. That's $150. I like the frame. Let me see how much this brass bowl is. $20. And it says China on the bottom. I know what, I'm going to research this a little more, especially since it just says China on the bottom. So I'm going to put that in and research it. Yeah, the toilet. <laughs> it's a toilet oh. mug. That's too funny. It looks like a hobbyist. Yeah, it definitely is. Usually when you see the, the kind of drip or Spots is on um, orange and green. I want to be able to drink out of it. No. <laughs> oh, here's some Wait, Jose. Fire King or Pyrex. 
Ooh, I like that. That is Pyrex. Pyrex for $3 each. I'm pretty sure that pattern doesn't go for too much more. China Garden, that's pretty. Now this vase I was looking over, um, I believe this is an antique vase. You could tell because it has like that off color, like a pinkish color. For $2.99, I kind of like that. For $2.99. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think you could get too much more than that. It's nice though. Found information on it. I just looked it up. Um, some people have it for twenty fifty, so it'd probably just sit there. Yeah, I think I'd put that back for twenty dollars. I was trying to research this angel a little bit, especially since it has a tag. It says JC Penny Angelica Shimmer. Shimmer. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it. not seen anything else in here. I figured I'd look through some toys and maybe I'll find something. Paradise Kids. Look at that. Oh jeez. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, look at this angel. I, was that there before? I can't. I'm losing my mind. All right, let me take a look. It's a resin. It's pretty. For fifteen at ninety nine. I don't know if it's that pretty. <laughs> okay. Um. Governor. Okay. All right. We're not seeing anything else in the hard goods. I figured we'd take a look through some bags and hats. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look, it has a lace. Not a bow. God. <laughs> Um, it's Union Made, made in USA. How much are their hats? I'm not sure. I don't see a price for it. Um, let me put that in and check and see. It's probably 1940s or 50s. Um, what about this bag? Madison handbag. That's fake fur. Ooh, what about that one? Um, it's probably you. I just made in China. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. Ooh, look at ah, oh, the lace came off. That's Union Me too. <laughs> look at it. Maybe they have some goodies. It's all the Tupperware. glass. I'm gonna get this. I think that's Fenton. Add a side. An A cup. Ooh, look. I wonder how much. Oh, there's no prices. That's Fenton. I get that. Fenton. That's totally Fenton. No, it's not. It's totally I might get that Fenton. though. <laughs> These look like, whoops, could be Viking. Got Michael's um, heels. <laughs> Hold on, I see more Fenton over here. Ooh, look at it's a shade. Cabbage rose pattern. I'm gonna get that. Jamberry false graph. Look at this cute doggy. All right, let me get this. Um, nothing vintage in the holiday. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at Michael. 
Share a roll. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so we only spent eleven dollars. Um, we got the Fenton Acre and the sign, the Fenton Cabbage Rose lampshade. I feel like that's a base to uh, mayonnaise bowl, maybe. And then this, let me put this down. I don't know that mark, but it's a carnival glass clown. I feel like it's worth some good money. Alrighty, I'm going to show everybody some items that we got at a yard sale. And some of these items you already seen, but we're going to review them and I'll tell you guys how much they are worth. And we went to another yard sale and um, I didn't film, so I'm going to show you that. Let's start with the Fenton Egg Cup. You can see it's marked on the bottom and signed by the artist. Now, believe it or not, the egg colored egg cups are... A little bit harder to find. Uh, we paid three dollars for this and it's worth about 40 over 40 dollars. I think we listed ours for 50 because nobody else has the ruby red color listed. So that's on our eBay store. Next is all oh, this. Um, we found out this is made by Boyd Glass. Um, you can see that it's a clown sad and then happy. Are happy and sad. <laughs> um, it's not worth as much as I thought. I believe over twenty dollars, between twenty and thirty. Now, if this had paint on it, hand painted carnival glass, it would be worth about forty. I'm, I'm going to say about sixty to eighty. But we didn't spend too much on the item, so I'm okay with that. Then the Fenton Cabbage Rose Shade. This is a shade to a um, fairy lamp. So it's supposed to sit on top of the base. A lot of people do have this listed, so it might take a little while to sell. But if you can find the base, they'll look perfect. What about on that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then this toothpick, blah, 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 blah. toothpick holder. This is made by Adams Tiffin Glass. And this is another one that's hard to find. Usually you see the ruby red flashed and clear. Nobody has the purple pinkish color. That's what I put in the title. We listed that for $34. Only because nobody else has this one. And toothpick, toothpick holders are um, kind of popular. Let me put that over there. And then we have the Fenton blue opalescent hobnail dish now i'm not sure if this is just a lunch plate or a mayonnaise uh under plate for a mayonnaise bowl it kind of has like a dip right there but i think it's kind of cool i love the blue opalescent especially this um sapphire blue that's what i put in the title I listed that for $32. Some people have it listed higher. I think like $80. But I don't think it's worth that much. Alright, and then I'm going to show you um, the Moon and Star Divided Dish. It is clear. It's not the colored. But the whole reason I picked it up is because i never seen the Divided Dish before. You always just see the bowl or the compote. So I'm thinking we could get about $20 for that. We only spent a dollar. This is why I like yard sales. <laughs> um, oh, this. Ooh, look at that. Another nightlight. Let me plug it in and I'll show everybody. All right, so it has a little turn knob behind it. You turn it on. Look at it. I actually really like that. Let me pick it up. It's a little bright. Um, not as bright as I thought it was going to be, but... Okay, let me turn that back off and I'll show you the bottom. So you have this um, beautiful flowers on top. You have the rose and some other mixed flowers in there. And there's no damage on it. This is made by I.W. Rice. I. Rice Import, made in Japan. We listed that for 
$24. Um, we paid a dollar. So I am all right with that, and there's no damage on it. Let me put that aside. Um, let me review this that we found today. I said that was a horse. It's not. It's a unicorn. <laughs> um, I didn't really look at it too much. I was like, oh, a horse. Let me put that in. And it's a lucite. I was like, sure. But look at it like that in the light. And we spent $4. I'm okay spending 4 because unicorns are popular. Um, the unicorns from the 80s and 90s. Again, that is... Design Gifts International, the same as the other Lucite we found the other day, the plaque. Um, do I have it near me? Yeah, I do. Hold on. This one. The um, thermometer. We have that listed, and do I have the plaque near me? No, I don't. We also found this beautiful antique bowl. Um, the people are transferred on, but the rest is hand-painted. But look, you can see the mountains on the background and then the river on the bottom. From my research, I can't really read the, um, the mark. Let me see what this says. E-N-P Company. I think that this is made, um, Victoria... Austria, Austria, I mean. I was going to say Australia. <laughs> um, but there's no chips on this. It does have a little bit of mist paint on the edge and some gold loss. I'm not sure how much we could get for that yet. But we only paid $4 for that. And then here is the mug that we found today. Just want to review that. I couldn't find anything on the artist, so it's probably just like a hobbyist mug. But to me, they look like chickens. Does that look like a chicken? And then there's that. And then this looks like a whale. <laughs> I think it's whatever you want to think it is. But I'm not even sure if I'm going to list it. If you can see inside. Um, come on, focus. Right there. It looks like a crack on the inside. It's either... Cr no, I was going to say crazy, but it's a crack. So I'm not sure if I'm even going to list it. Um, if anybody wants it, I'll do it for cheap. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember us finding this at Salvation Army in Glenville. It's the uh, Poppy Trails. Well, we went to a different Salvation Army. The one that we always go to, and we found another one. How funny is that? That we find a matching pair. <laughs> so right now we just have one listed. And I'm going to end that and retake the pictures and sell them together. I do kind of like that. It has like a vintage kitchen look. That would look good um, against on the back of the counter. Both of them sitting up. Now I'm going to sell them. I'm not going to keep it. Oh, I don't want to forget about these. We have these Easter, vintage Easter ornaments. Um, this came with a um, Easter tree, but when I took the tree out, it was falling apart. So I was like, let me just sell the vintage ornaments because that's what people really want. So ornaments. Um, yeah, so I'm. I got rid of the tree already, so I'm just going to sell these. Now, these you get about $1 to $2 each ornament. So there's a, um, 17 of these, and I'm going to sell them for $16. Usually when we do them on like a live sale, that's how much we usually get, like about a dollar each. So if we sell five of them, we get $5. 16 of them is 16. So I think this one is my favorite. The one sitting on the egg and the car. This one I don't think belongs to it, so I'm just going to add that in. And the paint is coming off too, but 
it's vintage. <laughs> All right, let's go over on our little shelf and show you guys what we have over here. This is where we store some of the stuff. Most of our stuff are in bins or tubs. Oh, this Fenton Bell. I don't know if I showed everybody this. 95th anniversary. It matched the vase that we had. Um, that's signed right there. And we have that listed on eBay. And this mug is Holt Howard, 1968. It's a awesome vintage green. And it has a rooster on top of the house. There's buildings going all the way around. I can't remember how much we have that listed for. But we had it for a while. I'm surprised it didn't sell. Um, what else do we have? This is still listed. The Ardult. And a um, bunny mug. There's the Cloisonne. And the Unicorn. I think we sold the other one. That is Inesco. Don't break. Hold on. All right, and we sold this. Um, we sold that for $6 with a auction. So make sure I put that aside. Oh, here's the other Lucite. <laughs> That's one I was talking about, the wall plaque. It has the wood and then the butterfly. I love that. And then the vintage Easter Bunny Bank. We have that for $34. Um, and we still have this awesome crystalline vase. I don't think I ever figured out the um, artist. But look at the crystalline on the top. I love that blue. And we have the crystal um, dish, vanity dish, and we have the blue perfume. I'm not sure the age on that, but it has a atomizer. And this one has perfume in it. I don't want to pick it up because the perfume gets on your fingers and I don't want my fingers to smell like that all night. <laughs> we have the art glass um, signed by Cook. I found that a while ago. Maybe I have the price too high on that. Maybe I'll lower the price. And this awesome mug. We still have that listed. We still have this listed. Um, this is antique. Antique pottery. Um, a little bit of paint loss up here, but that's normal. Here's the the orange purse that we got from um, from Kim, Lady Ellen. I think this purse is awesome. It's definitely out there and funky. <laughs> All right, we also have this vintage uh, flower frog. It's um, pottery. I'm going to make sure that we have that listed because that was hiding all the way in the back. So I'm going to put that aside and try to list that. Um, some of our jewelry. Oh, sometimes I just throw stuff up here. I don't want to get mixed up with the big stuff. Let me see what's in here. Oh, the shell. See what we're saying about the lacquered boxes? They don't really sell. <laughs> we got three of them. We have another one. I actually like this one. It has like a gold. Usually made in India. Yeah. Silver leaf. Pure silver leaf. <laughs> Here's some sterling silver thimbles. I got that one with the scroll work on there. Some other plain ones. That one has a little design. And we have this sterling silver pendant. Alexandrite, I believe. I think that was handmade. 
and it's Mark 925. That definitely looks handmade. We got that listed for 30 or 40. We have another one that's green. Where are you? Here it is. Look how pretty that is, a green. This is hand, all handmade. And this one, I don't know that stone. But I love that green one. There's the back. And the back, and it's marked 925. And we still have these two beautiful hand-painted plates. We have that one and this one. I'm trying to think which one I like better. I think I like this one better. I thought about keeping these, but I was like, no. Again, have to make money. But I think these are really pretty, and I love the colors on them. All right, I'm also going to be listing this tonight. I thought it was listed this whole time, and it's not. It's a pottery by, I believe, Gail. Um, I didn't find any, any information on it, but I love, love, love the glaze on it. The blue. And then over here is, um, looks like a leaf. And then it has some blue up here, which I like. So you can use this as an oil diffuser or a bud vase. I think it would look better as a bud vase. Put in some, um, neutral colored, um, flowers in there, some maybe wheat, that would look awesome with it. All right, well, I think that is it for tonight. I have to start listing some of these items. Um, make sure you check out our eBay store, The Thrifting Twins. We have a link in the description, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye!